Well, you're listening to Everything PEO. We've got the PEO lady in here. We've got about uh, eight minutes left. I told you, it goes so fast. Really we could does. do this for I'm hours. I'm like, I have so much to talk about still. <laughs> <laughs> like, hold on. Well, we're going to have to bring you back in a few weeks, yes. whether you can call in or on your next lap through. Don't be shy. Okay. But I don't want to miss this segment. There's so many things in here. This is where, although our markets are very different, this is what we both, all of us, everyone in all this room, time. goes through on every deal. Mm-hmm. Saturated or not, heard of PEOs mm-hmm. or not, this is still the biggest myths. And sure. when you, you know, when I saw this, I was like, yes, she gets it. <laughs> yeah, did you? Okay, yeah. cool. So, well, let's start. Okay. Let's start it off. Um, myth number one: um, you will lose control of your business. How do you combat that? You won't. <laughs> Simple, right? <laughs> We you tell won't. them all the time. <laughs> yeah. It won't happen. You still will have control of your business. Now, what I do advise when that when that comes up, right, um, I, I let them know, hey, we're not going to let you do something that is completely out of compliance where, yes, at that point we will take control and we'll say you can't do that. <laughs> sure. Legally, you can't do that. So mm. is that losing control or is that having an actual business partner that has your best interest in mind? So... It's, it's almost like keeping it in control. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> right? Oh gosh, yeah. I Somebody's like got to steer. Somebody the ship. has to keep this in control because yeah. you're not. So yeah. that's the roll, only thing I will say. Yeah, no, that's fair. Yeah. I mean, I think they, if they rolled out of a third party payroll provider and none of that verbiage was in there about the right to hire and fire, I mean, obviously it's in there for breach scenarios or we'll go down. Someone gets injured. You know, they fail. All kinds of stuff. You know, you know, there has to be those moments. <laughs> so we're. Helping you keep in control. I love that one. Yeah. How about next? I have to, oh, like this one too. I have to let go of my HR manager or payroll. No, you don't. Right? Someone still has to report (laughs) the hours. Someone has to get the. Not (laughs) true. Yeah. In fact, we need you. Co-employment. It's it's the headliner for a reason. Right? For a relationship. Yeah. I think um, if they, if people really started looking at the HR role in a more, um, in a grow as a growth role as more recruitment more culture building um or revenue generating activities versus i'm just now going to spend 3 days on payroll <laughs> you know and so really looking at that um department in your company that can really help grow the company versus like this is just a now Cost related, yeah. money mm-hmm. sucking. Mm-hmm. We're freeing thing. up some time. Yeah, now you can do definitely. account receivables, yep. marketing, you right? You can do so much more. Someone's still got to steer the ship, and, yep. and you've got to really hit home on that. What about I'll lose my status as a small business? So, so that's a good one because that's even hard to explain, right? Because we we go in there and we're like, hey, you're now going to be quoted as a larger group, and so that myth kind of is like, well, wait a minute, now I'm not going to be a small business, but it is a complete pass through for the business itself. But in regards to the areas that we manage, payroll, tax administration, workers comp, you're viewed as the PEO, and we actually file under R E I N. But in regards to business, taxes, the business operations, your actual actual amount of employees that you have, it's a complete pass through. So there's nothing that changes there. So you're still a small business. If you're under 50 employees, you're not going to be a large business. Yeah. Well, I saw one of your videos the other day. It's what? again, it's almost like you're a small business, but now you have access to Fortune 500 mm-hmm. benefits. Yeah. Now you're at mm-hmm. the big boy table and yeah. getting all the goodies the larger businesses are getting, right? right? And so you've got to almost embrace the change uh, or lack thereof, right? I mean, yeah. oftentimes you have a comp policy and you have a third-party payroll provider. We're taking those two services. We're putting it under one roof at a discount, mm-hmm. right? This is a real simple value proposition. If by outsourcing to a PEO, I can reduce my cost and headache, is it worth it to us? Keep it simple. For sure. Uh, let's go to the next one. My employees won't embrace the change. Mm. Oh, okay. So I, for ex- I'll give today as an example. Love um, it. <laughs> I did a, a orientation, open enrollment meeting to a company that has it's been in business since 1987. 87. Mm. Um, never had benefits before, and the employees were so happy, guys. Like, <laughs> oh my gosh, Cartwheels. they were like, they were so happy. They were just asking all these questions, and they were just so excited to enroll. They're like, okay, when can we register? <laughs> I mean, they, I think they embraced it more than the owners. Like, they were just thrilled about all the benefits that they were going to have, and 
the support and and really painting that picture of like, hey, the biz- this business is doing well. Your company is doing well. And this is what they did now to enhance what you guys already have and to get you guys, you know, for 2023 on a great a great path. So employees love it, guys. So that is a complete myth. I don't even understand the argument. I mean, I know, if, the, right? if the business is above board, <laughs> yeah. right? Who's doing your payroll now? My CPA, myself, whomever, <laughs> right? The only My thing daughter. this feels like to them is someone <laughs> yeah, else is cutting the check, yeah. right? Of course, all the benefits that may come with it, but it's just someone else cutting the check. Keep it simple, business owner. When I started yes, in this simple. industry and you had the employees asking a ton of questions, I said, listen, I'm serving, providing your employer a service, discounting their workers' comp. What you should do in a couple of months is ask for a raise because I'm saving them that much money. Oh, okay. There you <laughs> so go. I used to use that line <laughs> years ago when I came in because that's what we do. We've been with benefits. We're handling the 940s, the 941s, the W2s. We're printing the checks, direct deposit. All they do is concentrate on business and keeping you busy so you could get a check every week. All right. Well, we've got time for about one more here. I will lose the power to decide who gets hired and fired. And that's false. Not true. Yeah. Again, the verbiage <laughs> may be in some of those packets, and I get it. There, there's a moment where someone breaches. Mm-hmm. Uh, maybe it's your brother, right? And, oh, my God, it's my best helper. I can't lose them. Mm-hmm. But if it's negligent and they're actually in harm's way of other employees, but you can't make that decision, right, because you're too emotionally attached, this is a big one, right? We help keep you in control. Mm-hmm. Well, we've only got about a minute left. It's been awesome. Thank I really, so really much. want to do it again. I hope yes. we can get you soon. For sure. This has been so much fun. Thanks I hope for our callers. educated everybody about PEO today. That's our that's goal. We hope everybody comes out of the show a little smarter and brighter about the PEO space, and that's all we can ever really ask for. Thank you. Yes. It's been a pleasure. Thank you, everybody, for tuning in. Awesome. Well, awesome. next week, we've got Kurt from Melt, IOA, 20 years in the space, really going to come to understand the value of a PEO. Man, Lionel. That was awesome. That was fast. <laughs> Thanks, Blanca. <laughs> Thank you, guys. Preaching Everyone. flying over here yeah. from Texas. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Two weeks in a row. New York, Texas. Texas. We've got people buzzing all over the place for the show. It's really been a pleasure. We thank you so much. Everyone knows how this goes. Thank God. Appreciate your PEO. Be kind to your staff. And know that we're just on a 167-hour break.